Hello everyone and welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The show starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Alice Art Museum was originally the home of Milwaukee. Native Charles Alice and his wife Sarah Charles, the son of Edward P. Alice, was the first president of the Alice Chalmers Corporation. Charles and Sarah Bell were married in 1877. Both were very active in the Milwaukee community. He was one of the organizers of the Milwaukee Arts Society, a trustee at the Layton Art Gallery, and was on the boards of many other arts and business institutions. The year he died, 1918, Charles was serving as the chairman of the Milwaukee County Council of Defense. Both he and his wife were patrons of the arts and were responsible for many aces of charity beyond the world of art. As a result of their keen collecting instincts, the couple amassed a unique art collection with the intention of bequeathing their mansion and its contents to the public in order to delight, inspire, and educate. The 1911 Tudor style mansion is done in a Tudor rose theme that continues throughout the exterior and interior of the house. The museum began its life as an art library and was a part of Milwaukee County Public Library Systems from 1957 to 1978. In 1979, the Alice Mansion was turned over to Milwaukee County and was designated an art museum from that time forward. <clears throat> Treasures can be found throughout the Charles Alice Art Museum. It contains a collection of paintings, prints, sculptures, ceramics, and more. It is largely intact with original furnishings and a rich and diverse art collection spanning nearly 2,000 years beginning with ancient glass objects blown in 1 BC and ending with the painters of Charles Alice Day. To complement this collection, the Alice holds several changing exhibitions each year, which feature works by Wisconsin artists. The Charles Alice Mansion is an early work of Boston-born architect Alexander X. Whaler. Work began on the house in 1909 and was completed in 1911. It was one of the first private homes in Milwaukee to have electricity. The walls are largely made of concrete to keep Charles and Sarah's art collection safe from the ever-present threat of fire. The exterior of the house is largely mauve Ohio brick and is aimed with Lake Superior sandstone. The interiors are tastefully done in lavish materials, as was the style at the time. There is circassian walnut paneling in the French parlor room, an embossed and polychromed lincrusta Walton wallpaper in many rooms on the first floor. In addition to the hand-carved marble fireplaces that grace nearly every room, there are many types of fine marble used throughout the house, such as Florido creme, Tavernel Clare and Hallville Flurry for the Marble Hall. The Charles Alice Art Museum is a center for Wisconsin artists and sponsors changing exhibitions featuring Wisconsin artists. The Alice emphasizes fine art, drawing, painting, photography, printmaking, and sculpture. In addition to the visual arts, the Alice displays, it holds a free seasonal music series, Alice After Hours. The third Thursday of the month throughout the spring, summer, and fall, the Alice holds a jazz concrete in English Garden or Margaret Rahill Great Hall. The musicians featured are Milwaukee artists. In accordance with the Alice mission to showcase Wisconsin talent, the Charles Alice Art Museum along with the Villa Terrace Decorative Arts Museum is part of the Milwaukee County War Memorial Corporation. Charles Alice was a son of Edward Phelps Alice, so he became secretary treasurer of Edward P. Alice 
and Company after his father's death in 1889. Charles Ellis held many positions. He served as president of the newly formed Ellis Chalmers Company from 1901 to 1905 vice president and director of the milwaukee trust company director of the first national bank trustee of the northwestern mutual life insurance company and organizer and president of the chicago belting company he took a deep interest in art and was the first president of the milwaukee art society and a trustee of the Layton art gallery the Charles Alice Art Museum is a museum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It is listed on the National Register of Historic Places as the Charles Alice House. The dignified but austere exterior of this former house relies very little on ornament or stylistic detail. Instead, it emphasizes careful attention to massing brick sandstone and other building materials ex whalers rendition of two-door revival is executed with almost obsessive restraint only plain limestone dressings interrupt the dark brick walls this spare exterior does nothing to prepare visitors for the sumptuous nearly intact interior featuring marble and alabaster fittings hand rubbed mahogany woodwork english style ornamental plaster work and a magnificent hand route bronze staircase balustrade state-of-the-art technology went into its construction it is said that charles alice intended his house to become an art museum after his death so to protect his collection he requested a fireproof structure the brick and stone walls conceal a steel frame the floors are pound concrete and the foundation rests on 50 foot deep piles the house reflects the same industrial mentality that alice applied to the alice chalmers company one of the world's largest heavy machinery manufacturers in 1946. The house became a museum, displaying the Alice family's Asian porcelain, bronze sculptures, paintings, and antique furniture. I would honestly say that the Charles Alice is Milwaukee's hidden gem. Caroline Daniker, 24 is a graduate of UW Milwaukee who now works as the marketing and media specialist for the Charles Alice Art Museum. Before this, she had done a few internships and communications, marketed with nonprofits, and tried freelancing. She's passionate about Open Doors Milwaukee as a venue to show off the museum. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Daniker has an appreciation for her hometown.